What is up guys, and welcome for the first time to my alt account. And do not pay any attention to the name. Please. Yeah. So, uh, this account was made in, uh, 2018? Yes. It's like a kind of meme account, uh, with two other guys who, uh, also have, uh, interesting names as, uh, as their name. Um, uh, but... Anyway, the only reason I'm on my alt account today is because of the T150, but first... Wait, did I not get clan camo in this? What? That part's gonna get cut out, but uh, yeah, I just uh, went through my entire depot to uh, try and find a clan war camo. But uh, yeah, I didn't get one. So, anyway, the T150. Uh, why? Why am I doing a video on a tier 6 tank? Well, um, that would be because... It's pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Um, it doesn't look like it's pretty good compared to like tier tens and stuff, but uh, at its tier, it does uh, perform rather well, and uh, it's better than some of the tier sevens. It's better than the next tank in the line. Obviously, things you gotta watch out for: aim time, accuracy, um, gun handling. Just not very good gun handling. Really good DPM for heavy tank, even though I am using a bounty rammer, uh, just because you know. I have access to one, and uh, the IS-4 will be my next tier 10 on this account after, um, obviously, I already have the VZ. But view range isn't great. It actually has fairly decent camo for heavy tank, even though you're not going to be able to hide from anything. Uh, fairly decent mobility on this tank, which uh, actually makes it um, makes all the difference, especially when you're using a turbo. And uh, as you can see here, on uh, for my third piece of equipment, I, I just run with uh, rotation device so and then my second setup i just put hardening on for like tier 8 games so anyway well let's get on into the t150 and we got pilsen which will be a tier 7 game or a tier 8 game uh the interesting thing about pilsen is if you see it you're not going to be in a game against tier 6s ever or you're not going to be top tier in a tier 6 on pilsen uh, Pilsen doesn't go into the map pool until tier 7. It's kind of a nuance of the game that a lot of people don't understand, I don't think. is uh, There's only a set number of maps that you can play uh, in tier 6 tanks. Uh, tier 5 and tier 6 tanks, anyway. Um, but we have a heavy tank and they do not, so uh, yeah. Nice. That would make me believe that they have more tier 6 heavy tanks? No, they just have an extra... Well, I guess their heavy tank is technically the AG7 in this situation. And then the ISU is matched up against the uh, T28 HTC on my team. But, that's not going to matter. As we see, the um, unbuffed tier 5 tank at tier 6, the KB-1S. And uh, we're passing him here as he doesn't know how to drive and now we're no longer passing him which would have really showed off the mobility of this tank but um, it's just not gonna happen so anyway uh, Pilsen I just like to play this corner over here uh, you can take a shot on the cross if they are smart and uh, check it but you can also since we have time I'm gonna repeat this See if there's anyone crossing stupidly or just playing this corner over here. And it doesn't look like they have a lot over here. So what I'm actually going to do is uh, just get a little aggressive here. I got a Pollock in the back here. That's not good. Just snap a shot into him on the move. Really unfortunate there, but you can side scrape this tank fairly well. Just like on the IS-4. And we can bounce off the KV-2 stair right there. I've gotten myself into a terrible position in this situation. Um, there's a Panther M10 just shooting. Yeah, I just die. This is fine though. We'll just cut this game out. It's like, I don't cut games out. If I do something stupid, you're going to see it, and I'm going to try and explain why it was stupid. Uh, I didn't notice where I spotted that at Panther M10, and that's on me, uh, obviously, because I'm the one playing the game. But um, 
I needed to put pressure in the middle because nobody on my team is and we have a bunch of people on the other side of the map. Uh, I did not expect there to be a Panther in there. Uh, there was no reason he should be there. Um, in fact, I don't know why you would ever play a medium tank there. Even if you're a top tier medium, the Panther in 10 doesn't have that good of armor. So I, I, I was assuming I spotted him over here because I didn't spot him until I was like here. So that was just a lack of attention on my part. And uh, yeah, it's going to make my mark go down actually, which is crazy. Cause, uh, my moving average is just that high in this tank. So anyway, uh, I'll see you for the next one. Lakeville, ho <laughs> oh, against tier sixes and tier fives. Now we might actually be able to make this work really well. Uh, there's one already on the enemy team. It is a force four player. Seal clubbing at tier five. Not surprised. Um, <laughs> if you guys didn't know, you can actually buy force, force two, force three, and force four merchandise on uh, on a store. Apparently, we found that out the other day, and we uh, kind of memed around with that for a minute. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's always cool. I think we go city here. Should be able to just smack those other eyes around pretty easily. And uh, the KB1S is a non issue because he just doesn't have the pen that he needs t in order to uh, c consistently challenge uh, the T150s. Rather excellent armor. Um, everything about this tank is armor wise is an upgrade over the, uh, over the KB1. Uh, the only thing that's not an upgrade over the KB-1 is the gun handling, but you also have a 107mm gun instead of an 85mm gun. I guess you could use the 122 on the KB-1, but uh, high explosive has been nerfed to death. So uh, Our other two top tier fast heavies, or, or not super heavies, are going to the valley. Uh, OI is obviously going to go city. And, uh, yeah, Lakeville. I haven't played Lakeville in so long, it feels like. But we're going to try and make it work out for us. So my favorite starting position on Lakeville is just kind of like side scrape off this building. I'm trying to kill that fence without shooting it. But I guess it doesn't really matter if I kill that fence or not. There's an OI in the valley. They're not platoon though, so he's probably, the other one's probably on his way to the city. Uh, my KB1s are here, so I'm actually going to push a little more aggressive. Oh, that's terrible timing. I'm going to fire one out the move. On the KB1 else, he does have better DPM than me. But uh, he doesn't have better accuracy or uh, the better uh, gun. So, keep firing on the move. Still not hitting anything. That just goes to show the gun handling on this thing. And he is firing HE out of the 85, I believe. That's hilarious. Uh, I'm going to undo this real quick because an OI is a pain. Put one into the KV1 real quick and I continue to just side scrape off this corner. The OI is going to push me really aggressively. Track him. I didn't track him. He pinned that because of course he did. And now we just keep him tracked for our team. Actually, no, we don't. We come back out and put one more into him. And we're up to f f 2k combined. Which is really good for 206. I heard him fire, so. You, sir, are just annoying. And that is why you will die very, very soon. We're just gonna. It. You're not going to be able to pin me, sir. In fact, I can push this guy. So just get him out of the game. Never mind, he just got oofed by an O or by a KV1. With a derp gun. Uh, oh, that KV1 with a derp gun. Nice. Now we just reload standard rounds. Um, 
There's no way we push through there. So what I'm actually gonna do here is go up and around. I think I should be safe from them at all. Yes, I'm perfectly safe from them at all. Uh, we just gotta get around this rock behind so we don't get spotted up and uh, yeah. I don't know why that Hellcat told me to fall back. That makes no sense, but it doesn't matter because we are getting plenty of damage from this game. I'm going to continue pushing towards the cap circle. I just don't feel like I'm going to get back in time to defend ours. And I don't really care if it's a win or a loss. I just want to uh, get as much done in this game as possible. And uh, that's not going to happen here, so that's really unfortunate. Our Hellcat's completely falling back towards the back of the map because he's a Hellcat player at tier 6. Probably has three marks on it, not going to lie. I'm running away from this D78 because he is super Omega lit, and uh, yeah. There's nothing else I can do in this game, pretty much. Without um, sniping from the back of the map, that's really unfortunate because this thing has 0.41 accuracy with the way I have it set up. It could go all the way down to 0.4 with vents or 0.39 with an aiming device. Great, yeah, no. oh, We don't have mid control, which really sucks. We don't have any control of anything, actually. Hopefully they uh, decide to no-cap kill all, and uh, I can get like a uh, Call of Banos. Perhaps, maybe. But it uh, appears that they're just going to go for the cap. Which really stings. And there's the Force 4 already. Just being a Force 4 already. And there's like nothing I can do about this. Just trying to see if I get spotted. There's nobody pushing me. And they're just gonna cap it out before I can get more damage in, so this is unfortunate and bad. Never mind. 2k, nice. And Serene Coast it is for the last game. Hopefully we can pull something really crazy up and out of our behinds. Um, we do have a force player on our team in the Type 64 because of course we do. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not platooning with you, sorry. We're gonna go to C1. Because this thing actually has seven degrees of gun depression, which is really good and uh, really good mobility. So C1 it is. Well, it's not great mobility. But it's not. It's not bad whatsoever, especially with the turbo. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play into our mobility game here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna double R. I'm gonna V, and I'm gonna boom. Screenshot done. V again, and we get off cruise control, and we keep going. Always turn your turret towards uh, where incoming fire could be coming from. One, you can bounce shells from them. Two, if they get spotted. Um, you can shoot them. Uh, obviously, we're going to meet this class 1 player. Because, of course, he would go for C1. But, uh, who could blame him? Could you fuck off? light tank and not play for my ridge line that'd be great if you could please thank you and we put another shell on and that just this tank just kind of racks up damage 
because this gun has just so much DPM. We're just gonna shoot him straight in the turret because, uh, yeah, you can do that with the stink because it has 167 millimeters of standard pin. And just like that, we're two minutes into the game and we just take out our opposite. Top tier, heavy tank. But we do have to play aggressively now. As we do have the advantage. Somehow he tracked me in one shot. Don't know how that happened, but... We're just gonna keep on bouncing shells as we drive in like an absolute madman. Trying to get all of the damages. And, uh, yeah. Actually, just gonna pop one into you real quick, buddy. And we're actually going to... Yeah, no, 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 no. Keep driving. I don't know why I keep shooting on the move, like I'm actually gonna hit something if I'm not like directly in front of it, but it's okay. Bro. No, this gun's pretty bad. And he's spamming gold at me, so yeah, there's nothing I can do there. I think he has like 200 millimeters of gold pen, so yikes. rip everything that I've been doing in this tank. Glacier against the Yates. Oh no. Well, I am going to keep the turbo because it is Glacier, left control, and two. Hold up. Control and two. I have a really weird graphics bug going on right now where it makes everything look super grainy. Unless it's just my eyes. Just being dumb. Oh, it fixed it. Never mind. And, uh, I'm not really sure what to do here. Super open map, bottom tier. Nice. You love to see it. Um, obviously, I'm running food, so I'm gonna have better gun handling on the move while stationary, everything. I think I'm just going to go yellow towards the ship and hopefully I don't die. Screw it, who needs to see me going into position if I don't take damage right? But we successfully did get into position and I'm going to uh, go around the outside. Hmm. Interesting. I'm just going to show everybody that this is, uh, this is viable right now. And uh, keep playing here, because our Tiger 2 is not going to. And you gotta love the gun handling. I can actually turn to face him. I give him a chance to turn. Yeah, because the is not gonna pressure me. Yeah, we're just allowed to do this by the enemy team. Which is great, outstanding, and good all at the same time. I'm just gonna keep backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Okay, can't do that anymore. But it doesn't matter, we help out the LT-432, now we have control of this flank. So, therefore, I'm going to uh, go a little more aggressive here. Ooh, that was a big mistake. I'm already regretting my decision to get more aggressive, but hopefully we can just go to town on this. Tier 7 reward tank destroyer. Probably not. Ooh, pendulum points. Uh, the gold herons on this tank are actually pretty good. 219 pin. It's really not bad at all. Hopefully we can get them bounce off my side armor again. That would be nice. I 
the T or the 122 TM. This is really gonna mess up this game from my team anyway. As I just kind of lagged there for a second, so I continued backing up weirdly. Uh, hopefully my team gets a little more aggressive than they are right now. Might prefer it if they did. And uh, I'm just gonna set scrap out and goodbye. 300 hit points from you, Mr. Emil One. I'm not scared of you. I just need to be able to shoot both angles for whoever peeks out next. Um, yeah. He can't bounce a shot because his side armor is garbage. And he really, really thinks I'm going to go for this. But he's he's playing scared against a tier six heavy tank, because of course he is. Why would he not be? This is the best tier six heavy tank, obviously. Should I aim for his capola? Ooh, that's a juicy shot. Now maybe he plays more aggressive against me, or just lets me reload because he's a moron. He's still playing super passive. I do have the shot at his Capola, but I can't hit it. And this is just kind of how you salvage uh, bad matchmaking in tanks that you're trying to make. That aren't tier tents. Obviously in tier tents you don't have to salvage bad matchmaking because it's tier 10. There's not really such thing as bad matchmaking. We're up to 1500 damage. We're still lagging like crazy, don't get me wrong, but we're up to 1500 damage. And he's just auto pinning my Capola now. Yeah, I died. It's fine. He was still outplayed by me for the most part. And uh, I'll take 1500 combined in a bottom tier matchup any day in this tank. It's literally what. This tank's hit points used to be doubled, so. That's a, that's a good way to end it. I will see you guys back in the garage to end out this video. Alright, so, after four games, we uh, averaged about 1,500 combined uh, with uh, one kill. Out of all four games, we got one kill. Uh, great. Uh, Great gameplay for me, obviously. Uh, so, real quick on the stats of this tank that I have acquired so far in 21 games. Uh, it's uh, nearly 2k combined. And I'm at 55% uh, on the mark of excellence after 21 games. So, not too bad. Not too shabby. Uh, granted, this is a tier, eight, or a tier 6 tank, and uh, I am playing a lot of games against tier 6s, but... With that being said, yeah, turns out good players are just better at tier 6. Crazy, right? Anyway, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.